Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy. In this video, we're going to take a look at Noble Sport shotgun ammo. I'm not too familiar with Noble Sport, so my buddies over at True Shot sent out some boxes to the channel to test out. We're going to put it through some pump action, through some semi-auto, and see how it does. Now this is all bird shot. I have some seven and a half, some eight, some nine shot, and you can see I have some normal and some of the low recoil stuff. For the pump action side of things, I'm going to be using my H&R 1871 Pardoner pump. This is a shotgun that I've had for years and it's done really well for me, so I know it will do good for this video. On the semi-auto side of things, I'm not going to use a shotgun at all. This is the VRF-14 from Rock Island Armory. It is a shotgun shell shooting firearm. It's not classified as a shotgun. It only has a 14-inch barrel, no stock, nowhere to put a stock. But this is a new gun that was sent out to me recently. It's on loan from Salem Lakes Armory. So a huge thank you to Salem Lakes Armory for sending this out. We're going to test this out together. There are two things that I want to test with this ammo. One is the spread. How is the shot going to look when you shoot it from 5, 10, 20 yards back? So I'm going to do a quick test for that. And then I basically want to just test function and reliability. How does it look through the pump and the semi-auto? Is it reliable? Does it load constantly? Does it shoot? So let's go ahead and start getting to that. I'm just going to use my pump shotgun to test the spread. I'm going to shoot the target at 5 yards, put a new target on, shoot it at 10, one more target, shoot it at 20, and then we can compare all three side by side. So here we are at about 5 yards, 10 yards, and 20 yards. You can see at five yards, it has a nice, close shot pattern. Ten yards, it spreads out just a little bit. And 20, it's about what you would expect from any uh, birdshot type ammo. Now, so as not to bore you and make this video 20 minutes long, here's a little montage of me shooting the various types of ammo. Okay, everything went well with the pump action, but now let me try it with this semi-auto. Okay, here we go. These are the first shots with the Noble Sport inside the VRF-14. Let's see how it does. Okay, so I was having some issues, but it wasn't ammo related. I soon figured out that it was actually related to the magazines. Remember I told you this is the first time I've actually shot this VRF-14 and these magazines are brand new. I soon realized on these 9 round magazines, the second to last shell was getting stuck just like right there. I could clear it and move on. I was loading these 9 round magazines with 5 rounds at a time. I figured I would just get the first 3 off, make sure they work, and then just move on from there. But I quickly realized I could actually load more. So I started with this next one, started loading seven at a time. Now we get the first five off and the second to last one, the jam. I moved on to the low recoil stuff and I kept having the same issues. Second to last shell in each magazine would jam. But I had no other issues, no issues that I felt were ammo related. It worked fine except for that second to last jam. And just in case you're wondering, here's a comparison between the standard recoil and the low recoil. It's honestly not that noticeable. You lose about 100 feet per second on the low recoil stuff. I think if you're shooting it a lot in one day, it'll make a difference. Wow, so there we have it. That was a lot of shooting. 
And to be honest, I'm kind of glad I'm done with it. Nobody wants to shoot 100 plus rounds of shotgun ammo at one time, right? Right? <laughs> okay, I admit, I kind of had fun. So we were having some issues with the VRF-14. Like I said, it's a brand new gun. Those are brand new magazines. I'm going to look the other way on that. The Noble Sport stuff did amazing. Not once did I ever have it loaded and pull the trigger and not get a boom. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, a big thank you to True Shot Gun Club for sending the ammo out for testing. This is definitely something that I'm going to put on my list to buy more of in the future. Take care, guys. God bless.